We're still at Vergecon in Dallas. Um, the show goes on. It's we're almost at the halfway point now. I've run into. I'm really glad I've run into an old friend, Thomas Thomas Munster, who I've done a lot of work with over the past in my, in my work with uh, integrated visual environment technologies. Um, Thomas is going to take us through some of his company's Lake Fusion Technologies products, which we've just seen on the XP Services uh, Black Hawk behind us, uh, and talk to us a little bit about the the mysterious and arcane world of lidar. Thomas. Yeah, we have used some automotive grade lidars, which we qualify for the airborne world, and uh, we found out as we were doing mainly automotive in the last years that uh, they have come a long way. Their range weight is very attractive, now also for airborne applications. And as we think we're experts in <laughs> LiDAR processing, and uh, this is actually what we do, and uh, to provide obstacle warning, especially wire strike warning for helicopters, and uh, we're developing a system using two LiDARs in parallel and some computer in the back and providing a situational awareness to the pilots. And you've been conducting flight tests recently on some of the, yes. some of the equipment and how have those been progressing? Quite nice. As you can see, um, we had did some Alpine tests because they have a whole lot of wires out there. This is what they call a hay wire. Very, very thin, but it hurts if you fly into it. Yeah, it does. And that, that was that. Yeah. So you're seeing those as the yellow overlay on top yeah, of the exactly. grid square that you're seeing, right? Exactly. So. On the right hand side is the output of all our LiDAR point cloud processing. Left side is naked eye. I mean, you see a perfect landing spot there, but... But there's a line. I think that's what's really important about this is that those, those big wires that we saw on that bit of video, they're going to be on any obstruction database. They are a priori in nature. You don't, you don't just put up a 250 foot set of pylons overnight. Yeah. Whereas it's those smaller ones that you saw what otherwise looked like an excellent landing area. That's the real value that a LiDAR can have to pick up those smaller wires that are maybe not on the map and uh, that have been put up recently because maps do take time to, to renew. So I think that's, I think that's the really important. We, we certainly exactly. were working together with NATO on that. It was yeah. those, those insidious little wires are the ones that we were really struggling to detect. Small one heard. Also, here's skiing area, ski lifts with, uh, yeah, all kind of, wires if you have to land there. So for a sort of helicopter emergency medical service going exactly. up to recover a fallen over skier, again, you need to know yep. all those little small wires, lift wires, particularly if you think about it, if you're going up into the top of the mountains, there's likely to be some snow. Unlike when we tried to test this in Switzerland a few years ago where we had no <laughs> snow, um, but there's likely to be some snow up there, which yeah, exactly. may cause that element of obscuration of those small yeah, exactly. wires. Exactly, especially also as uh, in Europe, hams operators go into the night now. Yeah. And okay, then wires are uh, and let, gone. And let's be honest, there's not much cultural lighting up on the top of these hills at night. Not it's not like really. going around a city or something. Not really. Right. And exactly. this bit of kit here is that is sort of the, the next sort of. Actually, we went with uh, two LiDAR manufacturers also for um, reasons of origin. I mean, this is Chinese American, yeah. this is American, um, yeah. so there are sometimes preferences on this. Yeah. And also, uh, as the LiDAR finally is the backbone of our system, we have to have a fallback plan B. So I look forward to seeing Sitals, I think it's the product name. I look forward to see Sitals certified and in service, and yeah. I'd be really interested to see how XP Services is getting on with them their black hole. Thomas, as and always, great to see you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.